Hey, let's talk about armadillos, specifically the nine band armadillo, the armadillo that's making its way into Missouri from the south, like everything else coming up from Missouri into Missouri from the south. Anyway, the nine band armadillo is naturally making its way up north. And the reason is milder winters and we are putting topsoil down that they can dig in that they need to survive. So let's talk a little bit about armadillos, the nine band armadillo. This shell is extremely hard and durable and that's what protects it from predators. It does have nine bands, nine individual bands. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has the same type of banded shell and uh, hardware on its head and the tail and look at the front of its feet as well. While you're there, let's, let's check out those, those claws. Those claws are made for digging. And also that's how they burrow out and uh, dig burrows. In Missouri, they gotta burrow down about six feet at least. And that is so that they can stay at least 65 degrees through the winter time. They do, they are hot blooded. So once they get burrowed down, they'll pull leaves in with them. As a matter of fact, I've seen these guys like practically carrying leaves down into a burrow. Now take a look at the nose right there. That nose is super, super sensitive. They can smell a grub worm six to eight inches under, the, under earth. They use that to locate their food. They, they eat a lot of invertebrates. They're also, um, they'll eat fungi, they'll eat certain types of plant vegetation, but mostly invertebrates. They love earthworms. They also love grub worms. Now, if you take a look at their eyeballs, their eyes are tiny and they're extremely nearsighted. They, they spend most of their life with their head down in the dirt digging. And because of that, they don't have very well developed eyesight. Also, they spend a lot of time down in burrows and they spend a lot of time out at night. Again, they just don't need a lot of eyesight. And so that's why their eyesight is so bad. As a matter of fact, you can almost walk right up on these guys and they will not see you. However, if you look at those ears, those ears are extremely sensitive. They can hear very, very well. And so they won't see you sneaking up on them, but they sure can hear you sneaking up on them. And then the last thing I want to point out is the foot pad underneath the bottom of that foot. So that foot pad is where the bacteria grows that's responsible for leprosy or Hansen's disease. Now, about 20% of nine band armadillos do carry the bacteria, but it's in pockets. So not every armadillo carries the bacteria that's responsible for leprosy or Hansen's disease. Now, if you're a grown man in good health like me, 95% of us are immune or at least resistant to the bacteria and we don't have any problem with it. I've been handling armadillos my whole life and I've yet to contract lap leprosy. However, Hansen's disease is treatable, not curable, treatable. And if you do contract it, or you can get, if you do contract Hansen's disease, you can get it treated, if not cured, treated. So any more questions about armadillos? Do you have any questions, Daniel? What would you like to ask me about the armadillo, the nine band armadillo? I think you just uh, covered just about everything. All right. Well, one more close-up picture on the on the nine-band armadillo, and we're going to go translocate this uh, this girl. This is a young girl armadillo.